What's up guys, Garrett here with self.dev. Today we are talking about resumes, more specifically technical resumes with no experience. Yes, it can be done. It's just a little, it's, it's just organized a little differently. Also stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how you can get my resume template where you can just switch out the text and not have to redesign the whole thing for free. First off, we're gonna have your name. Obviously, we to have your name. I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that if you include your middle name, it looks more professional. I can't find that study on Google anywhere and I am i have no idea what book I would have read that in. So include your middle initial or, or not. Next up, you wanna have your contact information because you wanna make it super easy for them to contact you if they're interested. Uh, so I have my email and my phone number here. I wanna have both of those. Next up, you got your address. Now, if you're applying for places that are out of state, I wouldn't include your address because some employers will screen you out based on where you live. Even if you're willing to relocate, they're if they just see an address that's nowhere near here, they're probably not gonna call you. Then you wanna have your portfolio, make sure that's linked up so they can just click on it and go to your portfolio. If you don't have a portfolio, go build a portfolio. And then you wanna have your GitHub linked up as well so they can go to your GitHub and see the nice little green checkerboard so they know that you've been coding every day and that you're hungry and that you want this. Then we've got the experience or the skills section. I like using experience with, cause it's kinda saying, hey, I have experience with these. I'm not an expert with them though. But you can use skills if you want. I just had HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and then a few of the other skills I'd learned with the Team Treehouse tech degree. Don't put 20 skills here. I don't know if other companies do this, but when me and Marvin see a resume, if it has more than 20 skills, we assume they don't really know anything. Because anytime we have somebody like that come in, we say, all right, build us a button. All right, now style it this way. All right, now position it in these places on the page and they'll struggle with just building the button tag. And it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Like they'll go about it 20 different ways and they just, they don't use the button element. It's a really simple test, but a lot of people fail it. So make sure you keep it, the skills with the side you're focusing on. If you wanna be front end, make sure it's mostly front end skills. If you wanna be back end, make sure it's mostly back end skills. Um, full stack, you can use both. Just be careful with it. Next, we're gonna have the project section. I know you're saying, Garrett, where's the education at? I went to college or I went to a boot camp. That's cool, we're gonna put that at the bottom though. So your project section. What you wanna do, have your project title, have the project description, and then have the skills you used on the project. Make sure the project is linked up to either the GitHub or the actual project. I, if I had to go back and do it again, I'd probably link these to the actual project that I have on my portfolio. So when I click on this, it would bring up the random quote generator instead of the GitHub. That way they can test it out. Make sure you have your projects hosted too because it's really disappointing when we see a picture and we're like, oh, that looks cool and all they have is the GitHub. We, if we're going through 200 resumes, we don't have the time to clone, download and recreate your project. So there's that. But yeah, just make sure you have the project name, make sure it's linked up short little description for using my template stick with like two to four lines and then the skills you use so i used html and css and javascript and this gulp project got the title project description and then i used gulp so pretty simple um, if you don't have any projects come join discord because we're going to start doing one project a month link is in the description um, and then there's a bunch of if you just google front-end developer projects i'm sure you can find a lot or just like recreate Google or go to my portfolio and copy my projects. This hasn't changed since I got the job. So there's that. And then if you have more than six projects, I have a link here to my portfolio again, so they can see more than just the six projects I have linked here. I put the projects that showcase the widest range of skills. And then last, we're gonna have the education. So if you went to college, put your college here, put the day or the, the month you graduated. Don't say, it's so watching a, a Google YouTube tips video and they said don't put like summer 2016 put the month you graduated I can probably take off the date too and just put August because the date's not really relevant if you went to boot camp put the boot camp so you got like a certificate put the certificate name down here and then put the dates you went to the boot camp or the date you graduated I did team treehouse so I just had the tech degrees I was working on and then the dates I was working on them and then I was doing free code camp on the side too and I, the dates I was working on that. 
I just like getting multiple perspectives because like if you do free code camp, you're gonna learn a lot. If you do tree, team treehouse as well, free code camp is like the first layer. Team treehouse is the second layer because there's some stuff free code camp doesn't teach you. And then there's some stuff free code camp teaches you that team treehouse doesn't. So just get multiple perspectives, it's good. And that is really all you need to have on your tech resume if you don't have experience. If you have any questions on why something's missing or why something's not here, just let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer you as best as I can. If you want my resume template, I've got a little blank one here, so you can just basically copy and switch out the text here. And then I've got like a lot, as much detail as I could fit on how to do it then check the description. I will have a way for you to get my template, follow those instructions exactly. Otherwise, you're not gonna get it. Again, if you wanna join the Discord, link for that is in the description as well. Like I said, we're gonna start doing one, one project a month. Um, you gotta finish it by the end of the month, and then if you submit it, we'll probably pick like a favorite project, and I'll do a video on that. I'll also do a live stream at the end of the month on how to complete the project. So I think that's it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.